All right, we're gonna go try that creek mouth again from last night. Uh, I've got some live bluegill for backup in case I can't catch bait because I got totally skunked yesterday. But I got a buddy who's supposed to meet me down there, and uh, his boat's in the shop, so he's gonna ride with me. We're gonna try to uh, catch some fish, and he might bring his bow. We might try to shoot some of the carp too. But first thing, we're gonna try to catch them on rod and reel before we go shooting them. All right, we're back up in this creek I fished yesterday. Got my buddy Michael with me, and uh, he does a lot more bow fishing. But I'm gonna try and get us on some carp on a rod and reel here. And I didn't even bring a rod and reel. <laughs> oh, I've got a couple. I brought two two bows brought and two three bows. arrows. So I may try to let loose if if the carp start coming up shallow. I may uh, try to let loose on one, but I'll pretty much guarantee I'll miss it. <laughs> but uh, I got some sweet corn here, and I'm gonna fire up the motor and just throw a few handfuls scatter them up through here just to get the carp feeding in one area and then we'll just tie off on the bank or something to fish for a little while see if they're biting and then later on I've got bait for catfish if we don't catch any carp is great cut bait and what do you do with your fish that you shoot well I've got a compost pile I'm in the landscape business I man I have a huge compost pile and I've got friends that shoot and everybody brings their fish to my place the, the big gar you and I were talking about I eat the, I like the big gar a lot of work to clean them. Yeah, but it's worth it if they're a decent size. The small ones, I don't, I don't eat them. But we're gonna start off trying to catch one of these big carp. I haven't seen any yet, but they were all up in here yesterday. Well, uh, he's he's down. He's not very shallow. He's swimming upstream by that big leaf. Swimming that way. He he kind of he kind of went down a little bit. I should ought to use a trolling motor here, not to spook anything he may come up he may go down on it. yeah there he is Aim low, but I, I would have missed I would have missed him for sure the bow shoots hard man it, it puts it out there Let me shoot oh there's it. another one right here pick one. Oh, he, he kind of went down there's one right here Oh man, missed how did I miss that fish? Yeah, that was a gimme. That was a common right there. Mm -hmm. That's what I was saying. They're mostly commons up in here. The one I snagged yesterday was probably pushing 20 pounds. So me and him started hunting together. We started hunting the farm down in the bin, trying to kill some does. And uh, he's a pretty cool dude, man. Something jumped up there. I'm debating if we should tie. We should tie to this tree probably because I can tie off to it. So if the current changes, we can still be anchored up to something solid. That's what I'm gonna do. We got one line out. I just rigged one of my catfish rods with this number two bait holder in a split shot. Two lines. That's right about where I put the corn. And I got up one morning. I heard the crows. They were making all kinds of noise. I told them the fishing there at like two in the morning. I walk up there as a bald eagle. I'm surprised we haven't had a hit. We've been sitting here a minute. We just had like three carp swing by, but they weren't real close to the surface. Something was just busting shad. Oh, they went further up, didn't they? Well, let's see. We may catch a gar on this. Yeah. Oh, 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 there's a carp. Yeah, set the hook on him before he pops it out. Oh, yeah. You may want to tighten that drag down. I'll pull this line in. He, he, did he pull off? Yeah, yeah. He sometimes if they get to running. Yeah, not set it hard enough. No, the, you ought to should have tightened the drag down. I didn't realize it was that loose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were up in here. I saw bubbles just a minute he ago. Broke off, didn't he? No. He no well. I'll well. put some more bait on it. We'll get them back out there. Yeah, they're up in here now. I'm not seeing them, but I saw bubbles. Current quit moving up, maybe they'll hang in there a little bit. Oh, they will. Boy, it felt like a big fish. Oh yeah, things like hooking a freight train. <laughs> One of my favorite fish to catch. Not I need to catch a carp and release it because I'm all about <laughs> yeah. catching. It doesn't catch a release. Well, we can, can keep it for cut bait, or you can keep it for your compost. I don't care. It don't matter. I just want to see somebody re let somebody see me release a carp. Oh, just to say you did it? Yeah, I get a lot of, I get a lot of bad rap about that. <laughs> All right, we're done carp fishing for now. We've got to get some catfish lines out because I do have some bluegill. We're just keeping an eye out. Yeah, there's a carp jump. 
Can we get down there with us one more time? Yeah. Like you want to shoot him? Nah. <laughs> I don't want to fool with him either. Hey, there's not a stick. Never mind. I'm going to throw that um, jerk bait out here for a little bit. Throwing the shadow wrap. Man, there you go. It's a perfect boat holder right there. Look at that. What, the rod holder? Yeah, man, that's perfect. Monster boat. rod holders, monster bow holder. There you go, perfect space. I also use it when I tie off to a dock, like at a marina. I take my rope up front and I loop it around the middle rod holder and tie it to the cleat, and my boat stays level yeah, with yeah, the dock. That's a perfect space for an osprey. Gar. That's a gar. I think I might have actually hooked them on six pound line. I got my GoPro rolling. Yeah, that's a gar. That's a little one. That's the first one I've caught in like two years. The thing will cut. Every, every part of these fish are sharp. Cut you up. I didn't even hook him. He just wrapped the line through his teeth. Now I'm going to have to retie. Now don't bite me. Man, your teeth are needle sharp. Alright, I'm just going to break it off, I guess, because i got to retie it anyways. It won't break. Hold on. It's a six-pound test. There we go. Well, we caught a gar. I caught a fish. Not what I was after, but it's been a while since I caught one of these things. <laughs> They're cool fish. I'll turn them loose. Well, he turned himself loose. <laughs> Alright, we're going to cut up some chunks of bluegill for the jugs. Cut some smaller chunks so we can maybe catch some eating sized fish. Not to say a big one won't eat a little piece of bluegill. The bugs are bad, especially on this river. All right, we got 10 jugs out. Might as well, if you want to stay a little longer, we can go drop anchor down the river just a little ways, wait for the jugs to catch up. When it hits bottom, give it another, I don't know, 10 foot. Which side you be throwing on, does it matter? In, um, right side, because that's where the cleat is. So, we've been sitting here for, what, 10 minutes? Just maybe got 10, yeah. Maybe 10, if that. Just got lines in the water. There's a little more current than I thought. The jugs are catching up, but uh, this one was bobbing like crazy. It's got a fish on it. wonder if that's going to focus. Yeah, there it goes. Yeah. Oh. Uh, I ain't gonna be able to grab that. You got a pole to reach up the roof? Mm. You mean like a grab pole? Or no. Yeah, let me cut my light off. It's pretty close. I may, be, may or may not be able to. No, it's just out of reach. We're gonna have to go down and chase that one down. Oh, probably an eater sized catfish. There's The rest of the jugs are catching up. We run, what, a mile down river? Well, yeah. I knew I should have gone farther. All these jugs are catching up. Well, we got one fish on. We'll let him keep going. I can chase him. This boat goes a little faster than the current, huh? Yeah, it is. Oh, we're being on a little jug. That's a first. There's a fish on there. I think I got a bug in my nose. Didn't expect to be uh, reeling in a jug. I bet you're going to have a tangled mess, ain't you? <laughs> yeah, I can already tell. I'm not sinking in anything. It's a good blue cat, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, that's a good eating blue cat. Boy, that's a pretty one there. Yeah. A good blue cat. That'll eat. Yeah, man, it's a pretty fish. 
we pulled our lines, we pulled anchor, <clears throat> and it's time to chase down these jugs before they end up downstream of Nashville. <laughs> yeah, We're yeah. upstream right now. They're, this current's cruising, I guess they haven't quit generating yet. say he's 20. He may have been a little bigger. He may have been 25. That could have been my biggest. I don't know. Good fish. jugs we're done for the night i'd like to stay longer but we both got to work tomorrow so i'm gonna go back to real life 